You say paper scissors rock? Okay, that's stupid. What we got today is I've dug back into the archives a little bit to find things that I didn't play for some reason or another. Might have been because it came out before I was playing stuff all the time. This is Dininho World from Mirana. We also made Watermelon World, which I'm not sure we even played that one either. Anyway, it's a nine exit intermediate dedicated to the creator of Dininho Adventures, which I don't know about. It says it's a good game. Um, it's got a 4.5 with four ratings. Uh, something about a fixed version. Cool, thanks, etc. Liked it, didn't like it. Um, more potential to every level. Chosen 2 thought there was more potential. Maybe there's more that could have been done. And that's uh, that's fair. It just means you just wanted to see more. Title screen's fine. Uh, we're doing a little spin jump and go in the pipe. Uh, oh, there's a slope there. Oh, man. I guess we have wings here. I'm not sure what the gimmick is, but it seems like we can jump higher than usual or fly or something. I don't know what it is. Let's play Dinino World from Mirana. What the mug say? Dinino, an adventurous dinosaur is looking for new challenges. Let's save the princess. It doesn't say anything. It's just like a Beatles themed. I guess it says yellow submarine. It's just a Beatles kind of mug. What are we doing now? Overworld's here. There's a couple of little pallets things, you know, some, there's <laughs> waves available up there. Yeah, it's a little bit of a weird perspective, but you know, it's overworlds are hard. This is probably works fine. Let's do a cookie sky. We get to be a dinosaur. Oh, I should read that, shouldn't I? Uh, press A or B to change the jumps at any time. <laughs> Immediately into motor skills. All right. Alright. Alright, normal jump then uh and then change the spin. Alright, damn, this is hard already. Boing up. Dumped onto this. It's tall, I'm too late. Alright. I've I get the feeling, sometimes I get the feeling that Young Short has played way more Kaizo than I have. <laughs> it's always played something I'm just like getting around to. Oh, there, spin, spin, there, and then under that, it's so easy and clear, it's obvious what to do at all times. Oh my god, dude. Close to 300 beat. Dude, that's more than a lot of people. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that's, a, that's a massive amount. You gotta be uh, playing hardcore. I know that, like, you know, Katoon has played, like, 1200. But the rest of us are just trying our best. Damn. You're playing Cheer. I played... Did, oh, I didn't play Cheer World. Dude, Young Short. Let me know how Cheer World goes. So I, I hear that one's really hard. Alright. Jump, change, and full effect. There, 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 over. Ooh. All right. Stream buffering like crazy. I haven't, I, there's no drop frames on my OBS, so I'm not sure what's going on. It's either a U thing or a Twitch thing that I can't see. Trolls? No trolls available. There we go. It's a uh, ending uh, graphics remind me of storks, and I don't want to be reminded of storks. I'm looking for two exits here. Deep sewer. Second level has to be a sewer level. Otherwise, is it truly a video game? So what? Wait, what was here again? Oh, a shell jump here. Yeah. Going hard. Oh, that's the secret exit there. I was about to say, we're going hard on the screen scrolling pipes. Jesus Christ. Does that platform go down then up, I guess? Yeah, Baby Kaiser was. I think Baby Kaiser might have been the first 
non-tutorial hack I played. I played it before Quickie World because I thought that it was for babies. Imagine my surprise. Not sure if there's a checkpoint there. I would hope there is. Anyway, saw switch. The saw switch. Ah, oh, wait, what? Oh, I get it. Yeah. Right. Jump, spin. You know, I thought the arrow meant to throw. That's my mistake. Oh. I think they still do a pretty decent trade. But yeah, just don't hit it. I mean, I don't... So, uh, I just don't know. It'd be cool if you knew exactly where the platform would despawn. There, up throw, then there's... I don't know if the arrows... I mean, the arrows are there, but I don't think... I think they're more confusing than anything else. Saved it. No side exit. Oh, I don't have to reset. Alright, back to this one because we've got to not peace out at the secret exit now. And you love how I didn't have to use the Yoshi? Yeah, I mean, apart from to switch blocks, you could kind of just ditch it after the last block switch. Always feels bad, I guess. Like I feel like I've done that with levels I've made, but like where you just don't get a good use out of the, the thing that you saved, that you took a whole place, uh, that you took through the whole level. Uh, can you post a link? Yeah, post a link of the Lego sets. I'm curious. Oh, the, oh, I didn't see. <laughs> All right, there's uh, these invisible blocks there that are outlined but still invisible. Scroff got a uh, Julian's birthday party to start the collection. Um. Uh. Oh, it's like a P speed, I guess. I don't know. I don't think I need the block. I think I just do that, maybe. One, two. And then, oh, okay, we get use Use more bounces. All right. Uh, that's probably not the right way. Well, we make our own fun. Click. That's right, Mario looks like a little bit different. Yeah, Dynamum, you're probably right. <laughs> Those people in the middle of the bell curve that say that. So let's do it this way.
So just wait a sec, right? And go up. It's, uh, it's the same exit as the other level, except that it's a different color palette. GG! <clears throat> Cotton candy. We call that fairy floss in Australia. Maybe you know about that. Any other countries call candy, uh, call it fairy floss? <laughs> you only know fairy bread, yeah, well, cotton candy, we call it fairy floss. I don't know why, it's just, I, didn't, don't, I don't think it's good or bad, for reference. It is just, it's just what it is. You know, I thought, I thought maybe the platform was going to go to the right because the arrow pointed to the right. That is a tight jump though. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, we're playing as OG Grimace. <laughs> That's a spin and I'm bad as well. It's Italian for Grimace. You heard it here first from a certified Italian. Turtle 138, 138. This, uh, this hack has a lot of screen scrolling pipes, and it's not bad, I just feel like there's a lot of going through pipes in this ROM hack. Sounds more like a swear word in Italian. Yeah, maybe it is. I mean, this hack is from Brazil. I don't believe they generally speak in Italian. Boing, boing. Finally, a hack where Mario is a plumber. Uh, with all the pipes we're wrangling in this one, it's just a shame Mario didn't show up today. Send in the apprentice dino. Let's play hard to see. Boy, I hope this level isn't hard to see. No, it's, uh, you know what? Oh, it's on, on brand. These, uh, these dudes do the at left. Oh, because that goes left. Left. Oh my god. Oh. Four thwomps, two platforms, at least one of which wise away. All right, look, there was a lot. All right. Yeah, it's probably a good game. I mean, I'd, I'd play it if I played games. Just over the top. Yeah. Alright. Damn, I thought that was gonna be the end. Press L or R to drop blocks. Not in this screen. L or R. R. <sighs> Okay, just for the refer for reference, L doesn't work. You have to use R. 
And that's, I'm not upset about it, I'm just saying that L doesn't work. <laughs> Alright, it was fine, but make sure your R button works, because uh, L doesn't. Am I a chicken? Why is the overworld sprite Mario? You know, I, I don't know. To fall slowly, press A. To fall fast, press B. What? What the hell is this? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What? So just to confirm, if I'm full, if I'm, if I'm moving up and I press A, we can still get big height, but if I'm falling and I press A, we do, all right. All right. Uh, I can press down as well. Uh, I don't know what's going to happen when I do this. Oh. Uh, uh, there. A, A. Oh, you can press B again. Yeah, this is not new. This is early 2020. It was like end of January 2020. One of them old school sites that you can't just uh, uh, have it read your mind. Man, I really wish there wasn't, like, death blocks directly at the bottom of the screen. You know, it's fine. Hold it now. Oh, what's going on, Dan? Welcome in. button unless I really have to because it's it's super awkward to have to like switch grips to change your type of, of whatever. Can't use shoulder buttons for it either. Yeah it reminds me of bubble but I did I mentioned bubble bubble earlier. It's a, a bubble bubble sprite confirmed. Oh you can't go through that dude alright I feel like the uh you know, it's fine, I just want to point to those, like, uh, supporting string things. You would think that you could go through them, but you can't. Alright, what do we... what is that over there? It's an on-off. There's no wings when the Bunzo builds around. This probably doesn't have no more sprite tile limits, I guess. Yeah, I should have known. Look, I forgot about that, like, you know, the bottom off-screen tile kills you. 
aspect to this one. That's fine. This part's easy. Just don't get trolled. And then just trigger the platform, go in the pipe. That's it. <laughs> it's fun watching me play this. <laughs> Here's the exit screen that we've become accustomed to. I wasn't a chicken. Anyway, choices. Choices to make. Only bad ones. L or R. Okay, both L and R work in this level. Good. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. Let's wait a little bit, huh? Yeah, I'm surprised I haven't played this one earlier. Seems pretty chill. Ah, uh, well, you know, I I think I did about as good as I could. Like, I gotta have the like the meanest shell jump possible. Ah, oh, wait, am I stupid? Oh, I'm actually okay. All right, I see. I I know what it is now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sorry, everyone that has eyes. Can do that. Not everyone calls it rock paper scissors. Uh, yeah. In uh, I don't know if this is just my area or if it's a lot of Australia, but we say scissors paper rock. You say paper scissors rock? Okay, that's stupid. <laughs> I say just as I said, like, our dumb one that we have. <laughs> oh, you tried to troll me. <laughs> Rock, paper, scissor, me timbers. Uh -huh. Yeah, scissor, paper, rock. Which uh, makes sense because um, when you're throwing, like when you're when you're doing it, like the syllables, the way the syllables work, it's better than rock, paper, scissors. Rock has one syllable, so you end on it, and that's when you reveal. It's like scissors, paper, rock. Like that, you know? So that's that's how we do it. That's why I think it's good. Go go dine and ho go go dine and ho oh oh wow 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 go go point ding doink point coin dine and ho dine and ho dine get in the pipe on it. Let's do one punch dino. Can we punch? Oh, we just have these cursed blocks. Oh. <laughs> Alright. Like, how? A Rochambeau? I only know about that from South Park. Oh, there's a punchy down there. But it's okay. Ah, uh, yeah. And then just, yeah, get over there and hold up. You'll probably have to line up. I think uh, the thing that, uh, that annoys me is, like, when there is boost blocks like this, but you have to, like, push against them. Because it's not really... I mean, you just... If you don't play with these blocks enough, you don't know how much you need to push against them. In order to, like, get the trajectory you want. That's my... Uh, that's usually... That's why maybe... Why there's some stuff... When I played Celeste for the first time, things were, like, so weird and awkward. So there's a whole bunch of, like, you got to push against your dash and push against wind and... Stuff like that. It's just a big nuisance. Yeah. Classic hit a Kaizo block off a disco shell against the wall. It's a very specific thing. 
uh, but it's, it comes off. Oh, speaking of which, did I mention that I was playing Mario RPG on the Switch? The, the like, you know, the one that's on the Switch, the, the remake or whatever. Why is that game laggy on the Switch? Alright, then you do that. So I've got that excuse. Oh my god. And that thing... That thing pushes you, like, so fast that the turn back is weird and... Um, you, know, you go fast to beat the pokey falling down, and then you're just kind of at the pipe and it's a think fast rather than... So you can see what's happening, you just have to work quickly rather than have to... the possibility of, like, having a bunch of stuff happen while you're still thinking about the pencil. Oh my god, I made it. This section's been nasty. What? <laughs> Wait. Kinda, second half, not so bad. First half, uh, damn, that last shell jump before the H. Yeah, There's a lot of tough stuff. Hey, there we go. That's fine. Alright, we got the Cretaceous Survivor. What's the gimmick today? What's this level all about? Uh, nothing? No motor skills? No? Glad these arrows are here, so that I know where to go. Okay, that one's high. Boing, dude, are you kidding me? I feel like every time I play a long one, I get the. Uh, I get annoyed that it's not over yet. <laughs> Big jumps, so easy. I know the P86 demo is a different thing. I thought it was like, oh, that's right. You just uh, you stun this guy forever. I forgot. Oh wait, this guy, this guy can't be hurt during stun compared to most fry guys. Look at that. What is wrong with me? Right, there we go. Look, it's not too hard, but you definitely have to play it. Oh God, that was uh, was the end. That was by Mirana. It's uh, Dinino World. Testers include Samu, Vinicius Combat, Insanit was on testing, and uh, and Pinga. Fix your hack, Pinga, Dominix, Ah, the Dark, and Vice. Yeah, we purple now. 
looking like uh, we spent some time in Willy Wonka's factory. Super Mario saves Violet Beauregard, who Pixel made the reference to. Well, there you go. That was that was the whole thing. Dunino World early 2020 hack with uh, with a different gimmick every level. Hardest one for me was the punching, you know, the glove, the punching glove uh, things. And the second hardest might have been the flying one. And that's, uh, that's it. Nine exits down in Dinino World. It was pretty fun. Didn't take too long, I guess. It was fine. You're just happy that arrows were provided. Yeah, we never got lost. We knew where to go at all times. Play Casio. I played Casio like three years ago. I have no intention on playing it again. But I appreciate the enthusiasm for one of Wyatt's best hacks.